So this question says the length of the edge of the base of a right square prism is six units. So first of all, I'm going to draw a right square prism. It just means I have a, uh, let's see, I have a square. I'm going to draw like a diamond a bit, but it's, it's still a square. All sides are equal. And I have another one of those up here, and I'm just going to kind of connect these. I probably did that a little bit wrong there, but I think you get the point, right? It has four sides and a top and a bottom. The top and bottom are squares, and each side is a rectangle. Um, so we know that the side, the edge length is six, so that means this is six. So all of these are sixes, as well as all of these for the top are all sixes as well. The volume of the prism is 2,880 cubic units. Okay, so V equals 2,880 cubic units. I'll just call it CU. What is the height in units of the prism? Well, it all has to do with how would I find the volume of this prism? Well, it's going to be the length times the width times the height, like we typically see when we have a three-dimensional quadrilateral, basically. And by that, I mean the base is a quadrilateral, and then it's three-dimensional in that it has walls. So our length here is six. Our width is also six, but our height, which I'll label in red here, is what we don't know, right? So I have six times six is 36. I bring this H down. I have now 36 times H, which we know, because the question provided, is equal to 2,880. So there is my translation of what I've read. I can now simply divide both sides by 36 because I'm just trying to solve for height. My 36s will cancel out on the left-hand side, which is equal to, let's see, in my calculator, 2880 divided by 36. I am getting an answer of 80. So the answer to this question is 80, and therefore it is choice D.